Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Eric here from Eating Them Guns. Force reset triggers from Rare Breed. Stay tuned. So guys, we're going to watch a little clip here from Lawrence DeMonico talking about the Rare Breed trigger and what to look for. ...of Rare Breed triggers. I wanted to take a minute to discuss the large number of imposter websites that can currently be found on the internet. Please hear me when I say this. Rare Breed Triggers only has one website, and it is rarebreedtriggers.com. Any other site representing themselves to be Rare Breed Triggers is an imposter and committing fraud. I'd like to share the URLs of the sites I'm currently aware of that are imposters. rarebreedtriggers.net, rarebreedtriggerco.com, Shop rarebreedtriggers.com, rarebreedtriggers.us, and rarebreedtriggerllc.com. These imposter sites seem to keep popping up, so please keep in mind and pass on to your friends. And wouldn't you know it, just like that, as we're preparing to get this video edited, I've been made aware of another imposter website. It is rarebreed-triggers.com. Rare Breed Triggers only has one website, and it's rarebreedtriggers.com. Any other site representing themselves to be Rare Breed Triggers is a fraud. Okay, next issue. I'd like to discuss the vast sea of infringers currently selling Forced Reset Triggers and Forced Reset Trigger Kits. Over the last few years, I've received a tremendous amount of hate from people for defending our patent rights. While most people appreciate me standing strong to defend our Second Amendment rights, Many thought we shouldn't have defended our patent rights and should have simply let all of these scavengers infringe. While some have accused me of being greedy, I have consistently made the point that none of these infringers prepared for the fight like we have and predicted that they would all fold like wet paper sacks when it came time to fight. And just as I had predicted, many of these infringers have folded and to my knowledge, not a single one has contributed to the legal fight. In fact, one of the several individuals that is currently being prosecuted for the possession of a Watt and Alamo 15 attempted to seek assistance from the companies behind both of those infringing triggers. When both of those companies ignored his cries for help, he reached out to us. Even though he was being prosecuted for having an infringing trigger, we stepped up and provided him with experts to assist in his defense. The point I'm trying to make is this. All of these infringers have taken advantage of the situation by simply making a money grab while our focus has been on the bigger fight. We've spent millions, and I mean millions, in these legal battles. So here I am saying it again. Please be patient with me as we work diligently to resolve our litigation in the Eastern District of New York. You can bet your rear end that we'll be back to business the moment we're cleared to do so. So for now, Pay attention to our page on the socials, and if you really want to stay in the know, sign up for our newsletter on the homepage of our website, which is rarebreedtriggers.com. For now, I plan to remain focused on the bigger fight, but let this stand as a warning. As soon as we're back up and running and providing you all with our new and improved versions of the FRT-15, I will most certainly turn my focus to all of the infringers. I'd like to close by thanking everyone for their support over the last couple of years. And if you're not a member of the National Association for Gun Rights, please become one by clicking the link below. They were the only organization willing to roll up their sleeves, get in the trenches, and stand shoulder to shoulder with us in this fight. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Take care, and God bless. As you can see from that clip, guys, he's still not able to sell them yet. And if you go to his website and enter your email address, he will update you on what the status is and be available. you got to watch out. There's websites out there that are trying to uh, scam you. In other words, scam, you know, trying to get your money and you're not going to get your product. So be smart. Hold on to your money. Wait for the real deal. Love you. Peace out. Have a blessed week.